First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. To the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect brethren. Faithfully and diligently preaching his word with friends, trembling, shout a warm to the believers, the men, women, children that subscribe and listen to this truth wholeheartedly through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson uh, through the spirit, you know, something that I was meditating upon recently, and it came upon me to uh, ask this question, as you see, who is the God? of the Google gods which came from me pretty much inquiring on Google who is your God all right or who is God and uh, <clears throat> you know I know that the spirit really was inspired through uh, one of the recent questions we have asked Google concerning uh, who is uh, Babylon okay who is Babylon the great you know which is America and you know he gave us that answer right off the bat now this one pulled up this source from discover.hubpages.com and when you click on it, this article is from uh, James A. Watkins, March the 22nd, 2019. Okay. So when, you, when, you, when, you, when you click on it, this is the information that comes up. All right, the first source. So it says, according to the Church of Google, there is no God but Google. <laughs> Googlers are adherents of Googleism, a new faith based on a personal relationship with Google. Their website lists nine proofs that Google is God. Google is the closest thing to an omniscient entity in existence, which can be scientifically verified. Google is everywhere at once. Google answers prayers. Google is potentially immortal. Google is infinite. Google remembers all. Google can do no evil. Google is search for more than God, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and Judaism combined. Evidence of Google's existence is abundant. They believe this new God is better than the old God because while the old God is silent. Google always answers the questions of humanity. <laughs> All right. And then you get this disturbing, you know, image right here. Okay. So, you know, this is something that I want to use as fuel for the fire. Uh, ultimately to... Uh, edify the mind of this man that is currently in power Esau Edom the devil the Bible speaks of alright <clears throat> and I'm going to get this in the book of Romans 1 and 25 before we go any further as you see the mind of this man alright uh Ultimately, he's just setting up uh, this technology uh, that he uses to control the masses of people as God, okay? So, Romans 1 and 25, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator, who was blessed forever amen and that question is Esau Eden alright he changed the truth into a lie beginning with uh, the serpent in the garden 
that spirit uh, that <laughs> spirit from birth okay was one that spoke lies you know and that spirit uh, in the garden that deceived Eve is the same spirit that works within uh, Esau, Edom today, the children of Satan. Psalms 58, starting at the top to the chief musician, Althashit, Miktam of David, of David. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? All right, and the question is no, particularly these sons of men, which are actually the sons of the wicked, or Esau, Edom, okay, who go around the entire earth spreading lies, falsehoods, okay, and deception, ultimately to solidify their position in the earth as gods, all right? It says, yea, in heart, ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Okay. So we understand that this technology that has been created that at this very point in time controls the minds of the people, controls the way that, uh, you know, This society is ran okay and the ultimate goal is for you to bow down and worship this man through his technology and the MOTB is going to be uh, which is the mark of the beast okay uh, the microchip is going to be the way that he obtains total control and it's all going to be brought to the forefront uh, and advertised uh, to the people with lies, you know, telling you that uh, it's a thing of good, it's a, it's a thing of righteousness, okay, and it's going to, uh, it's going to put that uh, perception out there to the people that, you know, you'll be superhuman. You'll be able to be uh, like the most high. Okay. Now, let me get this. Uh, get this next precept. Uh, What is this? Uh... Yep, this is Second Thessalonians, Chapter Two. All right, let me do this. Make it a little bigger. Alright, so this 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped. So that he sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. All right. So that's ultimately at this very time uh, going on. Okay. And 
that man being Esau Edom is the son of perdition. Okay. He has been revealed to those who the Lord have opened up. Okay, to uh, the understanding of this Bible and reveal uh, the way that the wicked operates. Okay, and <laughs> let me get this. Second Corinthians two. Lock is first Corinthians I believe too. <clears throat> oh, second. second Corinthians two and eleven. All right. <clears throat> it says, "Least Satan should get an advantage of us." For we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay. Now you go into. Oh, this word devices, of course, it deals with his plans. All right. So it's Strong's G. Strong's G 3540. Naima. All right. Naima. All right, a mental perception, okay? A mental perception, a thought, an evil purpose, that which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes, okay? So this is what Esau Edom ultimately wants people to think, is that technology is God, you know, that there is no God but Google. Okay, the technology is ultimately uh, the supreme power in the universe. Okay, but the Most High is going to uh, it's going to be a rude awakening for these people on the planet Earth who have set their heart to forget uh, the Most High. Okay, and this is a uh, <laughs> this is Psalms chapter 9 verse 5 right is where I start <clears throat> it says thou has rebuked the heathen thou has destroyed the wicked thou has put their name out forever O thy enemy destructions are come to a perpetual thou art come to a perpetual end, O thy enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. Okay. Verse 7 But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. And ultimately, we're in the time where that judgment is about to take place. The Esau Edom is just one uh, uh, of the Lord's puppets, okay, whose strings will soon be cut. But his pride, you know, has deceived him into thinking that <laughs> he's doing his own thing, you know, he's making his own moves. It says, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment unto the people in uprightness. Because right now you have just the opposite going on. You know, no righteous judgment is going forth because this man is going through the earth. Uh, you know, putting all these false uh, realities out here. And people are going and accepting uh you know, his judgment because ultimately he always brings it out in the form of comfort, you know, and, and, and that's what he saw Eve in the beginning. He saw her comfort. Okay. He saw, he wrapped up evil 
and seeing and packaged it up uh, <laughs> as comfort. So I want to jump down, right? I'm going to jump down here to verse uh, 15. <clears throat> and read 15, 17. It says, The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, in the net which they hid, in the net which they hid, is their own foot taken. Okay? Now, ultimately, uh, what do you see the heathen use as their main uh, source of technology? Okay? Is the internet. Okay, so let's get this word. Let's get this word net. Okay? So you go to this word net. Okay. Strong's H7568. Strong's H7568. Resheth. Resheth. It says for catching of judgment, man. Woof. Woof. That's it. So this, uh, technology that Esau Edom has set up uh, you know for catching people for throwing off judgment okay it says of leaders leading people to sin is set up to lead people to destruction alright going back to the man of sin right the son of perdition as a trap for man <laughs> hey the scriptures is cold bro it's cold man so I'm gonna read this again the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made in the, in the net which they hid is their own foot taken here's the points the Lord Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. All right. And that microchip, all right, Revelation 13 and 16, is the work of his hands that's ultimately going to destroy him. But before it destroys him, it's going to destroy all those that worship him. All right. They go after his image and his order. Okay. Ultimately, that was uh, how he initiated his enterprise through Eve, is he changed the order of the Most High. He changed the image of the Most High, okay? Now, he ultimately got Eve to buy into his image. So now, the image of the beast is speaking, where... The main concept of uh, the beast's image, Esau Edom's image, is to uh, bring you in to his net, the internet of things, the internet of bodies, okay, which will be through the RFID microchip. The Lord Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Verse 17, I'll end it here. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget the most high. And I found it, you know, I find that through the spirit, very interesting. After all of these points that it made, this was the image. <laughs> okay. This was the image, which basically looks like a man-made tower or a stick figure right it looks like the, the it looks like the image of a man in stick form on fire and this is the end all be all of Esau Edom society that internet okay and his technology will burn right along with it 
So with that, call her law, you law, your hobo ba, shum, your hobo shy, ba, ba, ha, ko dash, kom yasarala, ba, ba, ba. Rise Israel, destroy confusion. Shalom, la ba, call you. Peace to the elect.